Yes, I'm sure I'm not going to blind you, because we're live. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, so we've been talking about how we want to show you guys a little bit more. Since I can't really come to you, I'm going to come to you through a screen. Hopefully that helps. And we want to show you kind of what's working for us and why I picked what I'm using in the diffuser, because Wally had mentioned and I've mentioned or what we use in the diffuser changes depending on what's going on. And so we'll probably do a couple of these because right now I think it's been three nights we've been doing this combination. Yeah, roughly. Okay, so sometimes we're changing every few nights, sometimes we're changing once a week what we're putting in. And it is good to change up what you're using, um, partly because the oils will do what they need to do, but then there's times that your body, our bodies are changing all the time and they're resetting at night and they're hopefully hopefully they are resetting that's what they're meant to do and you go through different things in your in your life in your season so we'll talk a little bit about some of the things that you could start adding in you know maybe later in this video depending on how i'm doing or we'll do it in another video talking about a different diffuser blend and why we're using that because they're just like cold and flu season um, when that's going around, there's certain oils I will put in the diffuser to help support my immune system, especially when I'm sleeping. Alright, so for me, we've got our diffuser here, and this was the wonderful, um, I can't remember the name of this one. My brain is failing me right now. Is that the Lumos? No. Huh. Um, you guys, if you know it you can put in the comments but this was a special I believe this was like Christmas um, and it has a 10 hour with a every like so five minutes on five minutes off so there's the 10 hour um, it's got some light settings that you can do so you could have light on you could turn it off you have it sit at one light so if you like the blue light and you like that on you can leave it there if you like the orange light so it'll do a cycle um, and then it's five hours or the two hours. Lately we've been doing the five hours and then it goes off because um, your body does need a break. That's why the 10 hours isn't full 10 hours, but it's every, it cycles through. For me, I notice sounds so easily right now that 10 hours, if it was five minutes on, five minutes off, I would not sleep. I would be waking up each time. So it's okay. That's why there's different settings on this. And I know on the pedal diffuser, they changed the base, gave it a new look, and it's also got that setting. So it's got some new settings to it, and that would be a great um, diffuser to get if you don't have that. Alright, so you find the diffuser that works for you, you put on the settings you want. Here, this one is needs to be clean. This is what I'll be doing today is cleaning it. Um, but you're going to put water in there. So there's a red line. You're going to fill water to that point, and then you're going to add in your oils. And lately, Wally has been filling the diffuser for me with this combination. So typically, we do some On Guard essential oil. Um, and then we'll use, I'm going to put these guys aside. Then we'll use like a Lang Lang or Hawaiian sandalwood at night. But right now, Lang Lang is what's sounding good to me. So that changes, but we'll usually use some floral, one that's good for calming, maybe Roman chamomile or Melissa. And then I usually put something more grounding and earthy like cedar wood. So I've got some immune support going on. Um, I've got some grounding essential oils, and then I've got some more calming type oils. So together those work really well for me right now. And that's kind of why I was doing that. The other reason I picked Lang Lang and cedar wood lately for me personally is cedar wood is also good for helping ground and calm my nerves a little bit um, because I'm noticing with having this injury I tend to I'm not one who's prone to getting little panic attacks or anxiety attacks but I'd get them in the middle of the night and my specialist found that too when she was testing like oh my goodness she's right yep that's what's been going on um, and so these have been really calming and really good for me, but they're also supporting my brain. So they're calming my brain, but they're supporting my brain in the healing process. Again, immune support, that is something I need right now because I'm not as active. I'm going in and out of doctor's offices, hospitals, things like that. That's all my really exposure is. And so my immune system's going to be um, 
known to be weaker, so I'm trying to just support that so that I don't get any other bugs. I don't need that, right? None of us need that, and it's summertime. We don't, it's not fun having a bug. All right, so the next three that we've chosen, and we're, these I don't usually do, but I'm excited to share why. So Clary Sage, I'll use it, ladies, gentlemen. That time of the month, ladies, or even if you um, are getting some hot flashes or things like that, those those hormonal shifts and changes happen a lot, and we still have them, no matter what, men and women alike, um, we'll get hormonal shifts and changes. We tend to know more about them from the women, right, Wally? <laughs> you live with it, you deal with it. Um, for me, with a brain injury, my um, hormones are are definitely affected. And I knew that part of my insomnia type feelings was because my hormones were being affected. So I thought, what supports hormones? What's gonna help support sleep in that way? So, you know, we've got your sleep oils, but I went, what's gonna help support my hormones a little bit more? So that's why I chose Clary Sage because I smelt it and I went, yep, that smells like candy to me right now. Normally, I hate the smell. So I knew right there, just smelling it, it was something we needed to add in. I was able to fall asleep a little bit quicker. It was supporting my sleep, supporting my hormones, um, and I was noticing I was sleeping a little bit more through the night. So that was awesome and that's huge. That'll probably change in a few days. I'll probably want something else. But like I said, this is something once in a while, um, certain times of the month, I will start adding it in because my hormones make these shifts throughout the month and I notice I need it. So, gentlemen have that too. So if you're feeling somewhat like you're not able to get to sleep right away and restless, sometimes Clary Sage is a key. So definitely give that one a try. And I, I think we're only doing one of each of these right now. So you don't need a lot. Rosemary and lemongrass. I added them in because my specialist was mentioning that I needed to do a spray that I have and it has rosemary and lemongrass in it. And I'm supposed to just, it's called Awake and Alert, but it's supposed to help me emotionally and support me emotionally. And I've had some pretty nasty nightmares and really weird dreams lately. I thought, huh, if it's supposed to support me during the day, maybe it's gonna help support me at night. And then I also know the other reason I chose lemongrass is she was saying there's so much inflammation in my brain. I've known that lemongrass helps support the body with inflammation and help um, kind of get things moving and so I knew that would be good plus I, I'm liking the smell of that it's very cleansing too in the air and our bedroom for sometimes feels a little stale then we have rosemary which rosemary um, is also really good for supporting your brain and cognitive functions but together they're helping me also emotionally um, in different ways and I noticed my dreams have been a little bit more pleasant since we've added those in so Those are added in I know rosemary can also help support your respiratory system as well um, Again, it's got some cleansing properties um, so it's another good one to diffuse as well and I can get all the help I can I need right now, so Those are the six oils we're using again. We're doing a drop of each right now um, some nights I might go, oh, Wally, can you add more lemongrass? Because maybe I want to smell that more. So I'd say, can you add an extra drop of that? Maybe I want to smell more woodsy scent, and I'll tell them to add more cedar wood. Or uh, we'll take something out, and I'll say, add some vet fur. So we will add and change things based on what sounds good to me, um, because your body knows. You really do. The more you start using them, um, the more you'll know. You don't have to know off the top of your head what to use. Um, you may be newer to using oils, you may be still learning about the oils, you may just go, I want to start using my diffuser more often. The biggest thing is doTERRA has some awesome tools where you can look up the oils on the website, you can look and just see, oh, these oils help support this, this, and this. I Maybe I should try that. There are also just other great resources and books out there to use, and if you're interested in learning about those, connect with me, let me know, and I'd be happy to share. I share diffuser blends with you guys so that you can get ideas and try them. Um, and that's why hopefully I can share with you 
what we're doing and why, because maybe you'll know someone who might be able to try it or use it. Um, the other thing is your nose knows, that's kind of my, probably my new key phrase, right? You know his nose, Wally. Um, you can smell. Just grab a couple oils and open them and go, mm, that smells good to me. Actually, that doesn't smell good to me right now. I can't, I can't fake that one. Um, so your nose will know what works. So a lot of times if you're like, okay, how am I going to know I like the combination? If you're not sure and you don't want to waste it, I mean, the you're doing one drop of each, it's really not going to be a huge deal. Um, but if you really are kind of like, I don't want to waste it, I don't want to pour it all in and it's disgusting, it's okay. It happens. It's experimenting and that's okay. So let's say these three oils, you're not sure if they're going to smell good together to you. Before you dump them in, take the lids off. Since you know you're doing a drop of each, you just kind of keep them all level, put your nose there, and you can kind of smell them all. If you're getting a scent you don't like as much, maybe you go, okay, so I want to do two drops of lemongrass and two drops clay sage and only one drop of rosemary. Just drop the rosemary bottle down and it'll change a little bit. So that's one of the ways I kind of tell if I'm gonna like the scent. Um, that's the same when I make roller balls. I kind of put them together. The coconut oil will change it a little bit, but um, that's one of the ways I do it. So that's a fun little trick for you guys to start making your own kind of diffuser blends. Um, start changing it up because I've noticed we used to just do like our On Garden Serenity. I think that was all we did for a long time. And sometimes we'd throw something else in there. Um, and I was always afraid to mix and try different things because I didn't want to waste my oils. And I found, nope, it is okay if there is a night once in a while where you just have to dump it out and start over. That is totally okay. These are pennies per dollar, so you, you're you okay. Um, but one of the other tricks I started learning was doing this little tip. So share with us some of what you guys are using. We want to hear from you guys because there could be someone out there that's looking for the right diffuser blend, the right oils um, to help support them at night and their, their family or their kiddos. So share what diffuser blends are working for you, what you like, um, if you have questions, what you're looking for um, to help support you in your um, sleeping adventures, let us know and we can try and work with you to try and figure out what oils might help support you. And again, there's a reason there's so many different oils that doTERRA carries. It's because, like for me, I'm noticing I may need some oils that are in like the Restful blend, the Serenity blend, but I may not need all of them. Maybe I just need a few key ones. And then when you start blending them with each other, they can do some amazing things. Their chemistry changes, the smell of them can change, um, but they can also support your body in even more ways than you can imagine. So have fun experimenting and yeah, let us know, share what you're using, what you're doing in your diffuser and we'll see you all next time.